Today we're going to take a look at all of our derivative rules put in together with a lot of different examples. The purpose of this is to help you practice your derivative skills. So this is a real quick overview of them. When you hit each page, you should hit pause and then write down what you think the derivative is, hit play and check your work and then keep going. Really do recommend doing that. If you're just doing it in your head, it's not gonna help. You really need to write it down. So for each of them, find the derivative. Here's the first one. And what you want to do with the second term is go ahead and change that so that it's got a negative exponent on it. And then we use the power rule. The 2 comes down. 2 times 3 gives you 6. Subtract 1 from the exponent to get x to the first power. And then the negative 2 comes down. You get positive 8. x to the negative 3. Next one. For this one, we take, because we have a number as the base and a function of x as the exponent, that's like saying we have f of x is equal to a some number raised to the f of x. We take the natural log of the base, keep the function exactly the way it is, and then chain rule out the derivative of the exponent. Next one. Here you go, this is a simple uh, embedded function. So you have an inner and an hour, outer. We're gonna bring the five down. So you get five, keep what's inside, subtract one from the exponent, and then chain rule out the derivative of the inside. And that should be a negative, negative two x. For this one, this 2 is really just a coefficient. The multiplication sign here is to show it's 2 times 3 raised to the x minus x3, x cubed. The 2 comes along for the ride, and then we use what we know here because this is really, again, a raised to some function of x. It's a natural log of the base. Keep your function exactly the way it is. Chain rule out the derivative of the exponent. The derivative of x is just 1. The derivative of negative x cubed is negative x, negative 3x squared. Next. You've got a square root on that one, so you need to take this square root and change that to exponential form. By doing that, now we have a problem just exactly like the last one. You're going to bring the two, one half down, one half times two is one, that's where this one comes from. Keep what's inside exactly as it is. Subtract one from the exponent, one half minus one is negative one half. And then chain rule out the derivative of what's inside. The derivative of x cubed, three x squared, derivative of negative two x, negative two, derivative of a constant, zero. Next one. You have two ways you can do this one. You could use the quotient rule, but because we have a single term in the denominator, we can split this fraction up into one, two, three fractions. So we do that. X cubed over X cubed, one goes into each, so you get a one. Here, we're gonna take X squared into each piece to get five over X, which is really five X to the negative one. And then this guy, we move the X cubed up and change the sign to be negative. Now we can use the power rule in everyone. The derivative of one is just zero. The derivative of negative five x to the negative one, the negative one comes down, multiply by the negative five to get positive five x to the negative two because we subtracted one from the exponent. And then on this one, bring the negative three down to get positive six x to the negative four. Next one. This is a product of two functions. We do take this first step to rewrite this uh, term that has a root uh, with an exponent, x to the 1 half. I know that looks really weird. I just am unable to make him a truly tall exponent. And so I went ahead and multiplied it in. You could use a product rule if you wanted to, but we can multiply this guy in to say x to the first times here, 1 plus the 1 half is 3 halves x to the first times this gives us negative 2x to the fourth. Now, when you take the derivative, power rules, 3 half comes down, x to the 3 halves minus 1 is 1 half, 
And then for the second term, 4 comes down. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. x to the 4 minus 1 is 3. Next. This one is a true product rule because we can't simplify in any way. So we really have two pieces, p and q. And remember, the product rule says that the derivative is derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So let's go ahead. We're going to do the derivative of the first. You get e to the 3x and then chain rule out the derivative of 3x, which is 3, times the second, which is q we named it as times the first, e to the 3x. Now, this entire thing is the derivative of this second piece, q. It's the natural log of the base times, keep it as it is, and then chain rule out the derivative of the exponent to give you negative 8x to the third power. Next. Another product rule, because we have two functions that we cannot multiply together to simplify. So we're going to take this second guy and change it to exponential notation. And then we're going to do that product rule again, p and q, where f prime is equal to p prime q plus p q prime. And so we take the first, the derivative of the first guy. So we keep him exactly like he is and then chain rule out the derivative of the exponent times the second guy, just exactly like he is. And then the first, which is this, times the derivative of the second, which is this whole piece. Bring the one half down, keep it like it is, subtract one from the exponent to get negative one half, chain rule out the derivative, derivative of x is one, derivative of negative three x to the fourth is 12 with a negative x to the third. Next and last one. This guy is a quotient rule. We can't do anything with him to simplify it. It's p over q. And the derivative is going to be equal to, remember, p prime q minus p q prime all over q squared. So we take the derivative of the numerator, e to the x, keep it like it is, chain rule out the derivative of the exponent, which is 2, times the second guy, or the denominator, and then the numerator, which is e to the 2x, like he is, times a derivative of the denominator. And the denominator, bring the 3 down, 3 times 2 is 6x squared, derivative of negative 2 is 0. All of that is over the denominator squared. So that's it. Hope you did great. If not, you should go through this again and do it as quickly as you possibly can. Hope you're having a great day.